Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome to your overview of Squarespace. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a website, how to add your own content, and how to customize the look of that Squarespace website. This is the perfect place to start if you are brand new to Squarespace. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so you can see how this program works. So here we are in my brand new Squarespace website. On the left hand side of the screen, we've got a menu. This is how we navigate around the program. On the right hand side, you're going to see a website preview. This is what your website looks like. Squarespace is a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. So when you're ready to change the content, select edit for the page that you're on and you can make changes. Now, if we scroll down here, you can see we have different sections that make up the page of our Squarespace website. These sections have content blocks inside of them. When I hover over this, you'll see the tag that says this is an image. This is text. This is a button. We can add all kinds of content to a Squarespace website. Let's say you've got this template and you love it, but you want to add an image to this section right here. Select add block and you can grab any one of these content blocks and drag it on over to wherever you'd like it to be inside that page section. You'll see this grid as soon as you start moving items around or if you press G on your keyboard. Little pro tip for you. I'm going to drop that image right there. If we click this plus sign, I can upload a file or select one from images already on my site or even browse stock images. Lots of options there. Every single content block has all kinds of different design settings as well. So when you see this icon right here, I want you to click on it because that means you can make some changes to the design of that content block. Same thing with text. If I click on this text, we'll see that edit icon. I can actually give this text a background and I can curve in the edges of the background or make the padding really small or large, lots of options. So wherever you see this edit icon, that means you have more design options. Sections also have a lot of design options. Again, we'll see that edit icon right there. We can change the format, the background, the color theme, lots of fun stuff. Speaking of colors, let's take a quick look at your site styles menu and how to change colors on a Squarespace website. If I'm in edit mode, I can click on this paintbrush icon right here. This will open up my site styles menu. And here I can change fonts, colors, the loading animation for my site, site-wide spacing, buttons, and adjust my image blocks. Now underneath this video, you'll find additional trainings on the font, color, and button options here in the site styles menu. There's a lot of content to cover there, so I have additional training videos linked below. Definitely watch those next. I'll go ahead and select close. And let's go ahead and save our changes. So a quick recap of this overview video. I'm here in Squarespace. On the left-hand side is how I navigate the program. And on the right-hand side is what my website looks like. I'm going to click into Pages and we're going to edit a different page. Anywhere you see the word Demo here in this Pages menu, that means you haven't changed that page yet. It's still the template that you started with. So let's click on this one. And we'll select Edit. And now we can hop in here and make some changes. We can add a content block by clicking add block and selecting anything from this list, dragging it to where we want it to be. Or if you just want to change the demo content, double click on the text here and we can update this with anything we want. You'll see this text editor bar pops up right here. This is a pretty standard text editor. So if you've ever used a Word document or a Google Doc or anything along those lines, you should be pretty familiar with this. You can change the font style here, heading one, paragraph three, lots of options. Make it bold, italic, change the color, add a link. You've got some fun options here. But if you're familiar with the text editor, just double click on the text block and you'll see all those options that you're comfortable with. So again, if we want to add content here, uh, we can add an image, for example. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll place an image right here, and I've decided that I want to scoot this text over as well. I can either use the arrows on my keyboard to just move it across the grid, or I can grab it and resize it. I've got that option as well. Now, you don't have to use the arrows. That's just habit right there. As soon as you see that little grabber cursor, you can actually drag content around the page using your cursor. Now I've got an image here and because we added it last, it's the top layer. So it's showing up above that text. If we want it behind the text, I'm going to click this icon right here and that'll move the text forward. So if you see those two icons, that means you can create layers. Now one last time, anywhere you see this edit icon, that means you can make changes to the design of that content block. 
If we click that for the image, we of course need to add an image. If we click this plus sign, we can upload a file, grab one from the library or grab a stock image, but we can also select design and make changes to that content block. Now, as you can see in this list, there are a lot of content blocks, so we're not gonna go through all of these, but check out the related videos linked below. And one last time, when we're ready to change the style, click that paintbrush icon, and here you'll see your Stite Styles menu. We can change the fonts, the colors, loading animation, site spacing, and even adjust the buttons and image blocks using this menu right here. I've got additional trainings linked below for fonts, colors, and buttons, so definitely check those out. I'll go ahead and click Close. We'll click Save, and we'll call this quick introduction to Squarespace good to go. That is just the tip of the iceberg, my friend, but I hope you found this overview helpful. When you're ready to dig into all of the cool things that Squarespace can do, I'm ready to teach you. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash start. There you'll find my Getting Started with Squarespace course, a nine video series that will walk you through everything you need to know to launch your very first website using Squarespace. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash start. Now, if you liked this video, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post a brand new tutorial about Squarespace every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. When you're ready for more, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash start. There you can enroll in my Getting Started with Squarespace course. It's a nine lesson course that will walk you through everything you need to do to launch your very first Squarespace website. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash start.